guys video update this week. First of all, let me uh, say happy Thanksgiving to everybody and hope you all having a good holiday. The update is just going to be on what's been going on over the last month. I'm still battling cyanobacteria. I recently cleaned the sand right before the video and my powder brown tang has ick. So I've been trying to feed him a little extra or you know the tank and I've added garlic to the food and Cellcon. There he is. You can see uh, the little ick spot. So hopefully, fingers crossed, he pulls through. All the other fish are doing good. Now the corals, uh, the colors are still there. Uh, if anything, they, what I'm most uh, impressed with is the growth. As you can see, the Monty caps there. Uh, they're growing really well. That uh, Satosa's right there, that orange Satosa. That's the piece of frag from the original one. And I've had to frag that twice, so that's growing great. Uh, like I said, all the other fish are healthy, as you can see the yellow tang here. And my flame angel, one of my favorite fish of all time is the flame angel. As far as my tank parameters go, my alkalinity is between 9.8 and 10 dKH. My calcium is around 435 and magnesium between 1380 and 1400. My tank temperature and pH right now is 11.27 a.m. Temperature 78.4 and my pH is 8.37. There you can see a pink lemonade is starting to encrust onto the rock. Can't wait for that thing to sprout out. Um, all of my LPS are doing really good. My uh, Duncan, my uh, frog spawn, my candy cane coral. Uh, again, all the LPS are doing good. I feed them uh, the BRS uh, reef chili maybe once every 10 days. Uh, and I'm sure they're catching some of the uh, fragments of the mysis shrimp that I feed the, the fish. My monopora caps are doing really well. Those are one of my favorite SPS corals. They finally started taking some color on. In the past, they were uh, very pale and couldn't figure out you know, what the heck was wrong with them. Uh, the only thing I can think of why they're getting color now is because I'm using uh, some fauna marin trace elements uh, through my dosing system and I think they're finally uh, getting some nutrients or trace elements that they were lacking before. Uh, candy cane coral is also one of my fav favorite LPS. Everything's doing good. Uh, I think I'm going to let the video roll and if you guys have any comments uh, questions or any feedback leave it below I appreciate it and uh, if you like please subscribe give it a thumbs up oh yeah one other thing I wanted to talk about was flow in the tank I do have uh, two of the Maxbet gyre x250 pumps in the beginning I used both of them in the tank I would put one on one end and the other on the other uh, the one pump would have regular flow coming out of it and the other one would have reverse flow creating quite a gyre effect but it became a pain cleaning two pumps at one time so I took one down and increased the flow on the one pump and it seems to be creating the same effect the gyre effect as having both of them so now I can keep one pump clean at all times and soak the other one in water and vinegar for weeks until it's time to replace them the other thing we'll talk about is the lighting. I have been using the respiration periods. Pretty much what that is is increasing the intensity and decreasing it every hour. So it goes up and down, up and down throughout the day on the hour. And you got to remember in the, in the wild over the reef, there's clouds going over and they do give the corals a break. And I know there's some days that there's no clouds, but in my tank, it seems like the corals are really enjoying the schedule. I do have a video that I posted several weeks ago. If you want to check that out, it's on my Hydra settings. All right, guys, that's it. And you guys enjoy your holiday. And until next time, catch y'all later.